what's up everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello my name is alvin cake and i do all kinds of gaming stuff and today we are back with dial town part three with brandy's part two story so don't forget to like subscribe leave a comment if you enjoyed and without further ado let's get into it because i know a lot of you have been waiting for that so yeah let's go <laughs> Why is the trash can moist? Alright, just 15 more minutes of walking in. Excuse me? It's only 15 more minutes until we hit the... 15 minutes? Okay, unless you have some kind of corrupted propulsion system that allows you to get around without using your legs. I surely must have taken at least 15 minutes to walk here from the heart, from the park. Subway. You took the subway here? Wait. I could have sworn that you've repeatedly said that you're literally penniless and poverty stricken. Oh, I don't pay my fare. I usually just hop on. And nobody hassles you or asks to see your ticket? Nope. Usually people just look the other way. Literally. People hate looking at me. I'm literally green, man. It works. People leave me well enough alone. Huh. If you're with me, no ticket dudes are going to bother you. Besides, I never see any staff down there. Oh, subway's fun apart down there. It's lawless. That's a New York subway for ya. <laughs> Honestly, especially if it was New York, I feel like they wouldn't even, like, pay it any mind. They'd be used to it. They're like, oh, just a Tuesday afternoon in New York. You know what? Why the heck not? I'll take the risk to spend time with my dear and loving companion. After all, what could possibly go wrong? Your wallet, bozo, hand it over. Or your dumb phone face gets it. Why did I trust you? You lay eggs. Hey, no need to be rude. Just because you're getting mugged doesn't mean you get to pout. Oh, God. Why did I keep doing this? Why do I keep letting the hide in your shell for as much of your life as you can? Like a hermit crab lesson. And then sporadically keep unlearning it just to make my own life even worse. I like how he has a knife for a head to show that he's a, mug, a robber and no one on the train is doing anything bro he has a gun on the train <laughs> your ideas suck also yes hey am i fucking invisible the wallet bozo or i'll start a stabbing but you're holding a gun you can't you will learn what it's like to be stabbed with a gun if you don't hit that wallet over so help me phone god Oh god. Oh god, sir, sir, I don't even have a wallet. I... Wait. You don't have a wallet? Bullshit. Everyone's got one. I, uh... So what do you carry your money around in then? I only have change. I don't... Then hand it over. I don't care if it's a mere pittance. I demand monetary compensation for this so far fruitless endeavor. This is the only money I have left. Should I? Oh god, what the hell do I say? Randy's gonna get turned to a fucking syrup. Well, there could be more than a dollar fifty in his pockets. But it's all he has! <laughs> it's nothing. Neither is Randy's life in fairness. Nothing for nothing. Seems like a fair trade. But then again. If Randy's just gonna take everything sitting down forever? Randy being Randy. Yeah. He probably is. Until something comes along that kills him even after he fully cooperates, that is. Oh, God. I... Hun, what should I do? Oh, my gosh. Route diverging choice. Hey, Razor Andy, don't let fucking... Don't let life fuck you over yet again. Let's go. <clears throat> you, you think I can really stand up for myself? I know you can. Get right! Listen here, you scoundrel. I'm a proud citizen, and I... I'm armed. You're not. Just hand over the change, man. Oh, all right. Here, that's everybody I've got to my name. Cool beans, thanks. You know what the thing is? The thing isn't even loaded. Are, are you kidding me? Hey, I'm going to only tell you that after I'm done robbing you. Haha, <laughs> I'm so great. If the gun's not loaded, then, uh... 
May I have some of my change back, please? Some? Why are you negotiating with him, Randy? Ask for all of your money back. It's a no either way, bozo. Negotiate, Randy. It's the art of the deal. For the record, I said that this thing was loaded. Not that I can snap here. Like a breast stick if I felt like it bandages. Okay, that's gonna be fair. Ha have a nice day. You're a pathetic man. Later, bozos. Did I do good, hun? For about six seconds. For about a six seconds, sure. And what a nerve-wracking six seconds they were indeed. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm a damn train wreck. A mere schmuck. Why? I can't avoid getting bugged, right? Yeah, that's understanding your poor performance, to be frank. You need to toughen up, my sweaty companion. I should find a weapon. Or just stand up for yourself and get my head beat to a pulp by inflatable latex mallet filled with lead? That sounds oddly specific. Pass. Let's just sit quietly and wait till we get to the park. Randy just can't catch a break. Like, I just feel so sorry for him. Well, here we are. Our used syringes, discarded condoms, and engraved avians fill paradise. Ah, wow. Phone oh, God, I hate this place. Oh, it's not so bad. I have no idea why I said that. It's literally so terrible here. Fuck, this is an absolutely wretched location. Yep, this place is truly a wretched hive of pond scum and bird villainy. So what now? I guess I'll get to work. You see any hostile swans nearby? A few, all right. I guess you should take those out then. <laughs> oh, unless it's Randy's obituary. Five to one. <laughs> those are fairish odds, right? They aren't. <laughs> More usual than fair, perhaps. Yeah. I can't believe he has to capture swans. Heck, heck it. I can't do this anymore. Oh, two of those things are medium sized dog scaled feathered dinosaurs with snake necks and they have teeth. This isn't worth any amount of money and certainly not the kind of money I get for it. If only I hadn't used that damn fortune teller machine, this whole chain reaction of abject misfortune wouldn't even happen. Ah, who am I kidding? Y you were right. I mistook it for myself. Things will never get better if I don't show the world that I deserve better, you know? Exactly. Stick up for yourself. You deserve better. Just remember that. You deserve better. Okay. <laughs> Winners have big dick energy. Yeah, show the world that you're not a sack of shit it thinks you are. Mm. We're like besties. <laughs> Wait. People think I'm a sack of shit? Not for long with the right attitude. You're right. I should have the attitude of a winner. They say you should dress for the job you want after all, not the job you have. <laughs> oh, that guy we ran into on the street who literally like wore a suit to a burger place. And you sort of do dress like a hobo, which gives out a conflicting message. Mainly that I'm a hobo? Yeah, that's the one. I need to take charge of my own destiny, or die trying. I'm happy it won't come to that and that uh, simply trying will be sufficient enough, but you know. Hmm? Oh, hold on. I'm getting a call on the hotline. Brandy, you're actually going to take this. I'm sure it'll be but take but a jiffy. Maybe the customer will finish quicker if I cry during. This is grim, man. Hello, sir and madam. My name is Randy Jade, and I'm Randy for you tonight. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, my manager, he forced me to say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know the spiel. Yada, yada. Wait a minute, that voice. <gasps> All right, let's get down to business. Is this who I think it is? <laughs> is this the, the first guy? 
who I gave the southern accent? I forgot his name. I don't know. Like, local bystander, right? What are you wearing, darling? Well, I kind of wearing a denim jacket, a, a white plaid shirt with a bunch of buttons, and I've got bandages on my... Yeah, you dirty slut. You would... Hang on. Did you just say bandages? But, well, yeah. I... Out of curiosity, did you just get off the subway a little while ago? <gasps> Is this the guy who mugged him? <laughs> Dude! I just mugged you! That's me! Uh, oh! Nice to... Small world, am I right? Yeah. I... Dude, I'm using your pendants of a whole to call you right now. I'm literally using your last fistful of change in order to get my rocks off. Dude. <laughs> Boy, what a world. I think I'm gonna start crying and now I'm actually worried that I'll enhance the experience for him. <laughs> Probably would, that's the worst part. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, you sweet lips, you still there? Uh, yeah, of course you are. I got the dollar fifty-five for the next four minutes. It'll take me to finish this call. I'm like other things. I'm a VIP. So, doll, talk doity to me. Uh, uh, Randy? Yeah, yes, Randy, come on. This is beneath you. But, but this is my job. At least one of them. Hell yeah, it's your job, sweet cheeks. It's your job to serve me to please me. S sweet cheeks? <laughs> it sounds embarrassed. P pal, what cheeks? I don't have a face. My head is a phone. Oh, don't play coy. You know exactly what set of cheeks I meant. <laughs> He's talking about that ass. He's talking about that ass. <laughs> you know exactly what set of cheeks I meant. Pandy. Mm -hmm. You're worth more than this. Okay, ex except I'm clearly not. Except you clearly are. Really, no offense, but your life is objectively worse than mine. And I live in a tent and lay eggs. So, your life is pretty shit, Randy. Worse than you. <laughs> I can't even say anything. Ha, shit. I'm really blowing this whole living thing out. <laughs> you can fix that at any moment, though. <laughs> I can't help but laugh at him. Oh my god. Dude. You're right. I'm sorry, sir, but... You're a bastard, man, and I'm not helping you get off. Ex fucking excuse me? Why, how dare you? I'm a VIP pal, a pinking customer. It's my fucking money. Who on earth even hops on the subway just to mug people with an empty gun? I actually worked for that money, you hacker. You're just a persuasive beggar who has to pass himself off as a bigger threat than he is to even get a dime from people like me. Oh, shit. Why, you pal, I'm standing here in a murky phone box with my pants around my ankles and you... <laughs> what? Wow, you really are that pathetic, aren't you? That's actually kind of hilarious. I actually feel much less bad now. You might be the only person in all of Dialtown who needs that money here than I do. Oh, don't you dare talk to me like I'm a fucking charity case. I'm tough as shit, man. I'll fuck you up. I... Now this... This is sad. Yeah. Oh, you think you're real tough now that you're on the other end of the phone line, eh? Purdy, purdy boy. Mark my words, pal. I'll be searching for you, and I will find you. And I will make you pay for not getting me off. Tr tracking one man across the entire city because he doesn't pity you enough to be willing to get you off? Jeez, talk about a cuckold, eh? <laughs> right, that's a good one. <laughs> Can you say that again, please? But louder. 
What? No, fuck you. It doesn't work if you're into being degraded. I thought you wanted me to be your bitch a moment ago. I can be best. <laughs> I'm just gonna hang up now. What? No, you just reeled me back in. You know who I am, pal? I've got mob connections, man. I'll fuck you up. Yeah, sure. Bye. No, nobody hangs up. Let's... I just did, bitch. That was a good start, Mandy. Although, do you think mob connections bit was true? I don't think so. He did have a weapon head. Oh, please. The Donald Trump mob are the only crowd in this entire city who are more pathetic than me. I don't know about that. Uh-huh. Name one successful heist that they managed to pull off. Well, didn't they steal a tiger from the zoo? They did. But that wasn't even the point of the heist. It wasn't? Nah. They were trying to rob Theorar's seat, but they fled when Theorar shot him at, with his rifle. But they fled when Theorar shot at them with his rifle. One of the buffoons just happened to open the tiger pen on the way out, and the tiger followed them back to their base. They didn't steal the tiger. They're stuck with it. Why not just return to the zoo? Considering that Thera has a loaded rifle and is willing to use it, that'd be a bad idea to say the least. They did try dropping it off at the city pound three times, but every time the people there said, and I quote, Puss Puss to Chonkers. Or Puss Puss to Chonkers. That's, that kid is too fat. Ah, drat. So wait, are you done with both jobs then? You know what? I guess I am. Swans and all. I can't face the swans again. I'm not strong enough. They'll say they mugged you worse than the knife cut did. They can smell a weakness, you know. And with no money left to take, they'll gladly settle for your dignity. Oh, air kneecaps. Definitely those two. No doubt about it, they'll take your kneecaps, and your face, and your clothes. If they're anything like geese. But I use those every day. Th those bastard birds can't have them. Yeah, the only person ever to touch your kneecaps should be you. Only you, only you touch your kneecaps, everyone. And an unlicensed colonial position in certain very specific circumstances. Yeah, that uh, sounds mostly correct, yes. But yeah, wrangling swans and wrangling schmeckin' weppers over the phone is beneath me. Good for you, hon. Th thanks! I feel so optimistic that I'm not even angry about the alpha swan eating this fun's right receipt. <laughs> it feels good to be hopelessly optimistic even if my whole life is logistically in ruins. Oh, by the way, do you, uh, think I can maybe stay at yours tonight? There's always room in my tent for you, hun. <laughs> oh. The music changed. Oh, my God. Uh, oh. I, oh. I didn't even realize that it was, like, a route-changing bug. I, I don't know what to say. I, Whatever it is, it better not be more ceaseless stuttering. But, oh, it's just clear diction, motherfucker. Do you speak it? <laughs> That's a, that's a reference right there. S sorry, let's just enter the tent then. There's flies! Also, can we just bathe in the park? Whoa, so this is your tent? Well, it could be our tent then, if you wanted it to be. Y you really mean it? No, I mustn't. It's a gracious offer, and it means a lot to me, but... Well, I don't exactly know how much sleep I get every night being mere feet away from those aggressive feathered snake dick monsters. The kids on the playground go home once it gets dark. You thought I meant... If you see a child that fits that exact description over on the playground, please call the alien task force. <laughs> or don't, actually. They probably want to take away you from the thing of it. You know, those kids used to be for great... You know, those kids used to be great for free labor. <laughs> what? That's awful. No, no, nothing backbreaking. Just helping me clean this tent occasionally. 
you know, changing my bedding and... That's even worse! You can't have kids freely really roam around this kind of filth while their immune systems are still forming? Leave me alone, I'm too proud to do it myself. You've already laid your eggs? You can't use that excuse forever. Watch me! So, uh... I know it's a bit sudden, but, uh... So we're back at your place, we could always, uh, you know. I <laughs> wanted to fuck like nuclear rabbits who are trying to outfuck the entirety of Chernobyl. Not how I would have phrased it, but yeah, that is indeed what I was getting that. Oh my god. <laughs> Cool Santa. <laughs> okay, that'd be fine. Hot dog. <laughs> I clicked on it. I was like, I just want to see what happens. Anywho, what are you actually here for then? Fun bear. Let me in. Control ape noises? Why do you keep resorting to ape speak as a negotiation tactic? Look, can I be real with you? This egg quest isn't exactly something that I can easily explain to my boss. Like, say my boss checks the 60 footage and asks why I let you enter without paying for a ticket. What do I even say? My scary friend wishes to check on the eggs that she laid in your fun bear? <gasps> We're friends? Jerry, I caught that. We're friends now. Honestly, that sounds pretty good to me. Perfectly understandable. Well, yeah, I'm sure that this is a very common cryptid dilemma. But my boss is very much human. He drinks coffee, not bat piss, and he files taxes to you so he can live in a house. Civilization sounds scary. You know, you might find it pretty straightforward if you actually domesticated yourself. Hard pass. I'm feral and proud. Proud of living in a tent and fighting swans for a soggy pond break. Is that really a rewarding life? Is yours? <laughs> Damn. Is that really a rewarding life? Is yours? I really said look in the fucking mirror. Who are you talking to? <laughs> Alright. So I can't let you in, obviously. Sorry. You're so lucky if I name even one of my hatchlings after you. That's okay, I'm used to being let down. I like this one. Bitch. Ha hey, no need to- Wait. Y you were gonna name one of your kids after me? That depends. Does Jerry stand for Jer Jamin? No. I <laughs> not. Jertholomew then? Also, no. Jer Robert, perhaps. <laughs> Stop this. <laughs> Look, I... <laughs> Rainy had some change with him last time you two were here, right? Why not see if it amounts to two whole dollars and use that to pay yourself in? He got mugged! I'm sure Randy's too John found to miss to do other thing and shove the money into your hands if you so much as suggest the idea to him. It's all gone. It's... What? What happened to it? Randy got mugged, Jerry. They took every penny he had to his name. Oh, don't tell me this wound up developing taste for sweaty copper and nickel coins as well as human flesh. Nah, somebody mugger put a gun to his head. I tried to coach him to stand it for himself, but. But he chickened out, sold his pants, and then willingly took his beating without audible complaining as per usual. Yeah, that's literally exactly what happened. Oh my god, it's like Jerry was there. Lord, how unfortunate. Guess it's just Randy's luck to get mugged, though, eh? Well, with that curse ruining his life, are you surprised? Wait. Curse? What now? The, the curse, he... Don't you remember? Are you guys, are you pretending not to remember so you guys won't be legally liable? That, what? No, I remember, but that's not the issue. That is so the issue here. <laughs> It is not. Surely you don't really believe in all this cursed hex and her bewitchment hogwash. I mean, I know you probably believe in the likes of Bigfoot, but... Bigfoot is real. He and I are kindred spirits. 
well, if Bigfoot was real, which he definitely is, remember that, then you two would definitely make quite the pairing. Fuck, I should have brought Bigfoot on this date instead of Randy. Dating primordial eight men aside, what are we talking about again? The robotic fortune teller when she's cursing Randy? Yeah, about that. We've had that hunk of junk for years. My boss taught, bought this stupid booth on a whim ages and ages ago. Fair Randy make a good novelty attraction, I guess. But, uh, thing is, basically, the thing doesn't work. Like, at all. Then why. Uh huh? Then what if Randy? What about what Randy told us? Even less functional than you're picturing. Would you say magically so? Look, this is beyond the realm of magic. That thing doesn't even function as a dumb novelty attraction. Lies. All lies. Truth! Seriously, the boss just threw the booth over in the corner away from the rest of the other attractions. Figured people just not bother with it till they could hire a cheaper fan and take a gander at it, I guess. Then, along came Randy. So, wait. What was actually up with the booth, then? From what I understand, those gaudy meta mediocre booths were mass produced by an arcade company as a dumb novelty attraction for arcades and the like. You put a quarter in, her orb head lights up, and the speaker behind her head dispenses a random pre recorded function. So, what was the deal, then? The deal was that the bastard who programmed the randomizer got drunk the night before the cabinets all shipped out and thought it'd just be hilarious to add a really rare response to the fortune pool. Essentially, he decided to add one in a thousand chance of Madden Mithurik telling you that your future's gonna be full of ceaseless anguish and relentless torture. Fun! Oh, and Randy just happened to use it. So Randy got the one in a thousand chance. Jeez, talk about unlucky, right? Yeah, luck doesn't really come to it, actually. The drunken programmer didn't actually enter in odds of one in a thousand, but instead a thousand and one. I wish I understood numbers so I could understand what that means. It means always! Essentially, instead of Madame Mediocre saying the line once every thousand of times, she booted up said the line every time. Around a thousand times in a row. Each and every time she was used. Combine that with the speaker being stuck on its highest volume setting and we got a full explanation for exactly what happened to Randy. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Oh, it took several of us just to pull the booth off the lovable bozo, and then... Well, the thing kept screaming for hours after he was taken to the hospital. The moment it stopped, we just threw an out-of-order sign on the thing, and decided to pretend that it simply didn't exist. Honestly, it worked wonders so far, so we don't understand. Randy isn't really hexed then? Nope. He's either hexed, jinxed, enchanted, cursed, bewitched, nor... Be warlocked. <laughs> He's merely Randy. Wait, what does that mean? Well, look. I'll admit his life is bad as it probably could be, but... Well, work backwards is all I'm saying. I, I need to speak to Madame Mediocre. Firstly, I repeat. Madame Mediocre is a non-sentient and non-magical inanimate object. Secondly, I reiterate for the umpteenth time, you'll need a ticket to do that, ma'am. It's not for me, Randy. I... Look, my boss told me to jump the police if anyone enters without buying a ticket, so I do kind of have to do that. But, uh, if you can bail before the cops get here, I'll tell the buzz that I have no clue who you are. Ticket, Jerry! I don't know what to say! <gasps> We're best friends! Me and Ticket Jerry are now best friends! What is y'all talk about? I thought I was gonna bang in the glass, I take that back. How about, thanks for the small act of leniency, Jerry. I reward you for your empathy and generosity by never returning here, nor attracting you or your family ever again. Yeah, fuck that. Smell you later, Gramps. Curse you, green one. There she is. Yep. Oh, my. I am standing right in front of her. Really. Hello, Madam Mediocre. Why, hello there, Stig. You, you can talk? Ticket Jerry told me that you're just an inanimate object. Oh, don't worry. He's completely correct. All this is happening in your head right now. I don't understand. Oh, wait. Yeah, you're just really out of it right now, Shug. 
You chugged cough nectar this morning. Don't forget that. Yeah, I did do that, didn't I? Yeah, you sure did. Now, what can Madame Mediocre do for you, hon? Can you please uncurse Randy? Yeah, about that. Again, I'm not feeling any shape or form aside from as literal junk, that is. So I cannot cast, nor rebuke curses, spells, hexes, or any of the like. Oh. Well, that's a letdown. Doesn't explain why Randy's such a miserable bastard then. Like Jerry said, work backwards. You know Ticket Jerry? I know everything you know, you frog pigmented Neanderthal. I'm squatting inside your head. Whoa, man. Wild. What's this about Randy then? Every bad thing that's ever happened to him is because he just takes abuse and then convinces other people that he deserved it in the first place. He has a weak spirit. This wants to know this. Look. Let's be frank here. If Randy just asserted himself in the smallest possible way for any amount of time, he'd see instant improvement. It's not completely Randy's fault that the world is so dreadful that, and that his life is so wretched. But it's his responsibility to fix his life if he wants to see a better tomorrow. See, that's inspirational, but, uh... Randy's real gung-ho about this curse nonsense. I don't think he's gonna want to hear that he's the problem. That's true. Okay, look. Maybe just spoon-feed him this information, but, uh, code it. In whimsy and magical riffraff. I might just take to it then. What does that entail? Like, what exactly do you mean? All you have to do is tell him that you spoke to me. That I'm willing to revoke his eternal curse, and he just has to come to the booth and I'll undo the enchanted whatever. Good idea, except for the fact that Brandy is scared shitless of you. He won't even entertain the idea of approaching you on our date. So the idea, like a possum floating in my poor boy's gumbo, is dead in the water. Also, take a Jerry call the police. Such a clear idea relatively soon. Oh, I don't know. Fine. How about this? Gather some candles, some miscellaneous knickknacks and such, and then return to Randy. Tell him some witch doctor gave him. Gave you a magical annihilate all curses and other such cosmic mockery ritual. But why? You said none of this magical stuff is real. Right. It isn't. We just need to make sure he thinks it's real for it to work. Oh, it's like the placebo effect. Yeah, that's definitely what- that's what it's called. You mean the placebo effect? What's it, Bo? Placebo. Fla- Placid bone. Of all the minds I could have come from. Is there anything else you wanted then, Shug? I'm fine, thanks. I got what I came for. Okie dokie. Just remember what I said, hun. You, uh... Your seer fried mind isn't just gonna forget all of this the moment you walk away, is it? Wait. Where am I again? I forget. Are you Randy? You're cursed. You're cursed forever. You will be devoured whole by time and return to the gutters from whence you came as green tread tracked roadkill. That's a given. You're just putting out the obvious. Wow, you really are a fraud. Bummer. Leave my sight at once, mortal. Haha, <laughs> rad. Later, sis. Be gone with you. Gnarly. Later, Boy, how lucky you were that the exact ingredients in it for the ritual could all be found in the dumpster outside Bill and Dave's candles and mystery meat and borium. Yeah, I... So, Brother Randy, are you ready? But brother Randy? I don't like the implications of that. Silence, mortal. <laughs> okay, that's more than what I'm used to, yeah. The ritual will cure you, don't forget. 
or sword the orb's hand. Why are you talking about that? It makes the magic work better. I've seen it in movies, so clearly it must be true. But my initial curse wasn't in ye old English. Have you performed an exorcism, Randy? Not recently. Then sit thine ass down. Not really, though. As the ritual is starting now. Okay, what's step one? Uh, I... You need... To... Uh, are you improvising? No! What are the candles for them? Lick the candle. Why would I? The orb, Randy. It knows no mercy. Place your tongue upon the melted wax. You will know the joys of having a wax-coated tongue. It's so strange. What? What tongue? Alright, maybe that step wasn't important. Step two. The magic words. You do know the magic words, don't you? Yeah, they're, uh, Latin. Do you speak Latin? Well, I speak taco hovel on you. I do believe taco descends from Latin, right? So, uh, Chantus Buridum Uh, Tacoium Pipitum Okay, that one is <laughs> just a tally. <laughs> Roman dudes, pizza dudes, baguette dudes. They're all stinky Italians, damn it. <laughs> Let me say my mumbo jumbo. Or do you want more bad luck? Sorry, ma'am. Ahem. Vendi, vidi, volupti, futete, ipsum, etc., etc. Yuyamare, curidum. Is that on the Word document? Like, you know when you start a PBTR Word document? That's like the... Example text? <laughs> I think it's example text. I'm gonna look. What? You're cured, bitch! My, My curse. Curse gone, gone. Go bye bye. It it's gone? Well, the change. Well, yeah, sure. I, I don't know. I don't feel that different. I'm sorry, but you are still Randy. There's nothing I can do about that. But I am uncursed former Randy, though, aren't I? So says the orb. Yes. Well, if the orb says it's good enough. Randy, you seem so fretful about this cosmic hogwash. And yet, now that you have a cure, there's something that you still aren't telling me. Well, I... Look, let me be real with you. Mm hmm? A confession. I'm not actually certain that... That the curse is the only reason that my life is so unbelievably cruddy. I mean, it's nice to look at things and say, Oh boy, the whole world seems to be really crummy right now, but... At least I'm not responsible for any of it, you know? You know, th that while I'm a failure in every possible way... That if one moment had gone differently, that things would all be fine. M meaning that nothing is really my fault deep down, you know? Do you understand? Yeah, I do. I had a feeling you would. I can't imagine that I can get a bit lonely being the only egg layer in town. Well, look on the right side. I may be in power flourish, non-human, smell like garbage, etc. But at least I'm not a fucking clown. Right, because then you wouldn't exist. Because clowns don't exist anymore, right? Hopefully not, no. Oh, about the whole getting my life back on track idea. Randy, if you want your life to get better, you actually have to take some kind of risk. Like bungee jumping? What? No, like a real risk. Like laying eggs in public space or marrying a swan queen. Or getting a new job, perhaps? Oh, right, yeah, that, that do it too, alright. But, I don't know, I mean... Who'd hire someone like me? And besides, how would I even get in touch with anyone without putting them off my unkept physical appearance? If only there was some way I could contact potential employees without showing up in person. 
a phone? My head is a phone. I'm just not remembering this literally. I'm like, a phone? You have a whole phone for a head. Could have also sent a resume using my head too, pal. Oh, right. Typewriter head. Huh. See, that wouldn't work because if you typed up my resume, I ended up with an no incoherent rent on egg laying, horse jerky, and gravel. And if I typed up myself using your head, you'd just get all weird and sweaty and the keys would quickly turn become too moist to use. You are entirely incorrect about that, yes? You are entirely correct about that, yes? Who should I even call up anyway? I have one business card in my possession located in my back pocket. It is our last and only hope. Well, whip it out! I think that's where the whole egg laying idea came from, I don't know. I... no. I mean, that font on a business card? It's Comic Sans! The Comic Sans means we're fun! <laughs> Do I really want to work for these kind of people? Consider swans. It's old. Alright, we'll go somewhere less tent to make the call. Do you mock my abode, Randy? To mock is to make light of something. And there is nothing intimately, innately humorous about these living conditions. You're a gentleman and a scholar, Randy. H hello My name is Randy Jade, and, uh... Yeah, that's right. I am the dude who got caught shoplifting already discounted soon to expire on lunch of the 24-7 gas station over the intersection at... <coughs> hello? I mean... You must be thinking of a different, less confident Randall Jade. So, wh why am I calling you? I'm calling you to, uh, tell you why you should give me a job. Wh why should you hire me, you ask? Oh, God, I didn't. What do I tell? Big bones. I, you should hire me. Sir, because I've got large bones. Did that work? No, I'm not saying that I'm fat. I just... I've got thick, sturdy bones, I guess. No, I'm not a caveman, and I do recognize that. Oh. Yeah, I am indeed a functioning human. Yeah, I do also have five of my senses, relatively intact. Yes, I can work nights. Nice. No, sir. Thank you. Oh, he got a job! Yay! <laughs> wow. Really lucky. What are the odds of that working? Luck doesn't come into it. Apparently, Jerry just got fired for letting some scary-looking customer charge right into the bunker this morning and then lied to the police about never seeing her before. <laughs> oh, no. Well, what are we waiting for, then? To the ticket booth. Wow, he got hired. So that was almost the ending of chapter two, Randy's uh, ending. Apparently we have the good ending, yay. We got him a job and you know, all kinds of fun stuff. Um, he, he stayed in our tent for a day, which is kind of weird, but hey, you know, we got him to be confident in himself. And I'm happy. Uh, so, there will be definitely a part three, as obviously this is a let's play, so I'm gonna play other routes and stuff as well. But yeah, if you enjoyed, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and turn on that notification bell. And yeah, that's about it. Bye. See you next time.